In this Design Space lesson, we're going to be learning about how to change colors in a cut file and how to use the color sync button. Changing colors is really easy, and the color sync button is also located right over here in the top right corner of the Layers panel. It's right under the Make It button, and we will visit that later in this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be working with this little cut file that is some cute flowers in a mason jar. And it's beautiful, but it's made of a ton of different layers that all will come together to create this beautiful image. So all of them are separated by the color and cut that they are. And then what we're going to do is the first thing before we're going to change some of the colors is we are going to click ungroup. And that is going to allow us to individually select certain pieces of the cut file to play around with. So let's say we want to just change some colors because the colors aren't what, quite what we're going for. So what we can do is we can just select some of the colors. So let's say we want to change this brown color. So we can do that by either selecting the actual layer or we can come over here to the layers panel and we can select the layer over here. So either one, they'll both do the same thing. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to come up here to the color box right up here, and I'm going to click. Now what you can do is you can click any of the common colors right here, or you can come down here to advanced and click another color. So let's say I want this to be a baby pink. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click a pink just to get me started, and then I can just drag my icon down and find the color I want. And it gives you the preview right on the area that you've selected. So let's say that that is the color I'd like, and that's perfect. So what I'm going to do next is, let's say I'm going to click this tulip and I want this to be purple. So I will click the color button over here. I'm going to click purple and then in the advanced section I can just kind of play around with what actual tone of purple that I like and let's see I think I'm gonna go right about there okay let's say for just a little bit more practice that I'm going to change hmm we'll make this a little bit more of a lighter tone turquoise so what I can do is I can just click advanced and come down here and Let's do that. Okay, that's really pretty. So now what I could do is I could come and individually change all of those colors, but another quick way to do it is by doing color sync. So once you have all of the colors that you like at least once on your, your, your image, then you can come over here to the color sync button and it will show you all of your layers and it will divide them all up by the color. So what we can do now is we can quickly change the colors by simply dragging and dropping each little cut file onto the color we want. So for example, let's say we want to change the brown colors all to pink. We can come over to the brown over here and we can just drag them all up to the little light pink and then it will change them. So this is a lot quicker than going in and changing them all individually. So let's say also we want to change this little um, yellow circle to a purple. So we can go find the yellow circle over here. We've located it and we can drag it down to the purple. Oh, that looks really cute. Okay, let's do a couple more. So let's say that we like this really nice um, pink color, but we want it to be the lighter pink. So we can go locate that tulip right here and we can just drag it over to the light pink. And then let's say that we also want to change this bright yellow into more of a pale yellow. Or let's say we can even actually do this to a, let's just play around and see which one we like the best. Let's say we want to make this pink. Oh, that's really cute. And then let's say we want to make this the purple. So we bring this down. So you can just keep playing around and seeing which ones you like the best, kind of play around and see which ones look the best. And we can play around with the little layer on the bottom, maybe make that pink. So let's say this is going to be our final look. So that's how you can do the color sync button to make quick work out of changing colors in a cut file. I hope this tutorial was helpful in learning a little bit more about how to change colors and use the color sync button to quickly change colors in Cricut Design Space. Be sure you're subscribed so you can see even more Design Space tutorials coming up and to also see what other crafts are coming to my craft table. Please be sure to give this a thumbs up and leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next video.